All right, guys, welcome back, and this is day three of SHOT Show 2022, and I'm here with Jay at the Opscore booth, and I wanted to showcase a little bit for you guys on some of the new offerings they have and show you guys the differences between the Fast SF and one of the new offerings, the Fast RF1. Go ahead and take it away, Jay. Uh, what we focused on a lot for this SHOT Show is taking our SF and all the new offerings that we've had for our 9mm, 1200 foot per second frag helmet and rolling them out um, to an increased ballistic level. So, uh, moving from left to right here, this is our, fat, our newer Fast XP. So you'll notice the uh, higher cut, so we can use the Fast SF uh, skeleton rails and modular bungee shroud, and take that same configuration over that we got from Fast SF and roll it into that Fast XP uh, ballistic performance of nine millimeter at 1400 feet per second. Um, now what we're offering new at SHOT Show this year is our rifle rated helmets. So uh, this helmet is the same weight and thickness as our Fast XP, but you're now getting increased frag performance and 762 by 39 lead core rifle protection. And then rolling all the way to the right, this is our Fast RF1 helmet, um, and this is our highest level of ballistic protection that it's actually the only one that's gone through a government FAP program. Um, this will stop 762 by 39 mild steel core and increased frag. So we've been able to take all the things that the upgrades that we made uh, going from Maritime to SF and roll them into these new uh, product families uh, for this year at Chuck Awesome. And before you put that back, do we want to talk about the weight differences between um, the SF and the RF1 when we go up to that uh, ballistic rating? Yeah, sure. So if you zoom in here, you'll notice a thicker shell. So with our lightest helmet, we're looking at just over two pounds. When we go up to the RF1, you're looking at three and a half pounds, which uh, is a, it, it is a decent increase in terms of weight, but it is a massive jump in protection. So that three and a half pounds will feel something similar to like a legacy ACH helmet platform. Yeah, and that was a, what I was about to mention is like, you know, it, to Opscore that sounds dense and heavy, but to me it's like, well, when I was in, we were running Marine Corps lightweight helmets or Mitch's or whatever we could get our hands on, and all of them were about three and a half pounds to start and didn't offer anywhere near this type of ballistic protection. So if you guys are in the market for an RF1 or something with that type of ballistic protection, while having, to be honest, amazing weight savings over what you would normally have, go ahead and check out Opscore and these will be available when? These are available right now. Awesome. And another thing we were talking about the other day at the booth um, that didn't get mentioned is the lead times have gotten a lot better lately. Yep, yeah, our lead times have come way down, especially on e-commerce orders, and we're focusing on keeping those low to get you guys helmets. Awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, before we uh, completely cut away, though, let's talk about something I noticed as well. We got some new coloring options as well. Yeah, so we're starting to phase out our foliage green and focusing more on ranger green for all of our fast helmets, um, and we're going to just slowly be rolling that out to the other uh, product lines as we go. And then we are also exclusively right now with TNBC offering M81 Woodland for a Fast SF and Fast SF carbon composite. So uh, look for that pattern to be out on our other helmets soon as well. Yeah, actually when he picked that up, I was like thinking my eyes were messed up because it wasn't shape. I was looking at M81 <laughs> yeah. and I was like, oh, uh, what is that? So I'm actually happy that we picked that up. So if you guys are looking for an exclusive pattern, make sure to check out TNBC and these will be available right now. Awesome. Go ahead and jump on there. I'm sure these aren't going to last long. And thank you so much, Jay, for the walk around. Yeah, no problem, man. And I will see you guys at the next booth. Get me out.